What is up, everybody? I just got done watching the five hour long <laughs> Aniplex Online Fest 2022. And I have to say, Aniplex has brought us the goods. <laughs> there is so much to go over. I'm going to give you guys a rundown on everything that was announced and everything that was updated for us for all the anime series coming from Aniplex in the future. This includes Fate Strange Fake is getting an adaptation. That's insane. <laughs> Yamada-kun at level 999 is getting an anime adaptation. We have a Jinrobuchi film that's coming around the corner. Rascal Does Not Dream of Bun Girl Senpai is getting more anime. We've got some updates for Roni Kenshin, updates for Nier Automata, the anime. There's just so much stuff to go through. And again, I'm going to give you the full update, so let's jump right into it. Let's start things off with all the new announcements. I'm not going to make you wait until the end like they did. <laughs> yes, Fate Strange Fake is getting a new anime special. Now, we don't have an idea if they're going to do more after this point, but what they've announced so far is Whisper of Dawn, which essentially is a special that will be airing on December 31st of 2022 during the Fate Project New Year's TV special. They announced specifically they're going to be doing a simul dub of it, so anybody that wants to watch it dubbed, they'll have that option for them. It's going to be done by A1 Pictures, and yes, for those that don't know, <laughs> Fate Strange Fake... It's a lot of hype behind it. It's got a fantastic writer behind it. Narita, of course, is known for doing Bacano and Durarara. So I'm super pumped for it. I've heard nothing but good things about it. And I love Narita and their work. So can't wait. There's already a teaser out there. It doesn't really show any animation, but it kind of gives you a glimpse of the world they're going to be jumping into. And I cannot wait. I am super pumped for this. Moving on, they had an anime adaptation announcement for My Love Story with Yamada-kun at level 999. This is a manga that is being adapted into a TV anime. This is going to be releasing in 2023 and being done by Madhouse. The synopsis is recently dumped. Akane is just about to quit the game she used to play with her boyfriend when she meets Yamada in the same RPG. Yamada in real life turns out to be somewhat of a legend. The only problem is he is only interested in the game. As Akane's feelings grow, will Yamada's focus stay on the game? Definitely looks cute. I love the art style for it. The key art looks fantastic. I cannot wait for this series. It definitely sounds, it gives me, it gives me a little bit of vibes of something like Recovering MMO Junkie, but obviously the character is significantly different here. For our next one we have is, and I'm gonna butcher this name, so I apologize beforehand. <laughs> Aizen Frugel is getting a theatrical anime film. This is an original story by Jinro Bucci. The character designs are going to be done by Type Moon, so they definitely look like that fate feel. <laughs> they already released a trailer for it, as well as a key art, so definitely check those out. And it was funny because they actually had a statement made by Jinro Bucci for this project, and they talked about the fact that they had actually talked about doing this before, but unfortunately they were writing out the script to do a full core. Like, they wanted to do a full core anime, and they said that they were kind of dragging out the story. So it feels like they went back to the project and they wanted to make it a theatrical film. That way it doesn't feel like the pacing's dragged out anyway. And I definitely always appreciate whenever I hear that. The synopsis is in a world where dragons rule the sky, mankind still dreams of flight, of someday dominating the heavens in their stead. Even in times of war, the passionate young pilot Carl Schrunes continues to chase his dreams, taking up the wings of steel. The revolutionary new aircraft, the Blitzvogel, to challenge the Kaiser Drash, the fastest dragon that can fly at supersonic speeds. So again, sounds really interesting. Definitely got that aesthetic to it that I'm definitely looking forward to. The PB already looks fantastic. Cannot wait for that. And yes, for our last new announcement, we have Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai is getting a sequel anime, and this will be combining two books from the light novel. This includes Does Not Dream of a Sister Venturing Out and Does Not Dream of Knapsack Kid. And it's particularly in my live chat. A lot of people are excited for that. I have unfortunately not watched the film yet, but I've been needing to, and I'm definitely going to be watching at this point. I cannot wait for this. It is going to have a returning staff, and they're going to be producing it at Cloverworks. So really fantastic news there. More Bunny Girl Senpai. Cannot wait. Moving forward, we get into the update segment of the live stream. We had our first one was an update on Ronin Kenshin, the remake. They have confirmed at this point this will be a readaptation of the main manga series. They released a new trailer for it, which just have actual animation in it, so you can check that out. It's being done by Leiden Films. It looks fantastic already. They have also released new character visuals, and they've also released the main cast, which is going to be Ryu Takahashi is going to be playing Kaori Kamiya, and we also have Soma Saito will be playing as Kenshin. So really exciting stuff there. Like I said, when I seen the trailer and it was actually an anime, I'm like, it's happening. It's actually happening. I cannot wait for it. Really fantastic stuff. Definitely check out that trailer. For next update we have is for Urusai Yatsura, the new anime adaptation that's being done. They have scheduled its fall premiere as October 13th. So soon, it's soon. <laughs> 
They also announced the first season will be two consecutive cores. So we'll be running into the winter season with this first season. And the other thing that I noticed right at the end of the trailer, it popped up for like a split second. And I knew I'd seen it. High Dive will be streaming it in the West. So this will not be a Crunchyroll title. This will be on High Dive. I kind of had a feeling that High Dive was going to grab that. When I was looking at the list of titles that weren't announced yet, I'm like, you know, I think they can get Yurisa Yatsura. Hopefully they'll get the original ones from uh, Discotech. I'm not sure if Discotech has the streaming license, but that'd be really cool if they can pick that up. Moving on, we had a quick update for St. Celia and Pastor Lawrence. They got a premiere date of that for April of 2023. So that's definitely one that I'm kind of interested in. It definitely got a great art style to it. So we'll see that one in spring. Mashal got some updates. We got a new trailer for it. They confirmed that the release will be in 2023. Also that A1 Pictures will be working on the project. And additionally, director Tomoya Tanaka will be acting as the director and they've worked as an assistant director for Edge Runner. So definitely some exciting stuff there. Next one, we had some extreme excitement around some updates for the Nier Automata anime adaptation. They've coined the official title for the anime adaptation as Nier Automata version 1.1a. Now, interestingly enough, there was actually some interviews during the live stream that I found really fascinating. They actually talk about why they came to the title they did. In a talk between animation director Ryoji Matsuyama and game director Yoko Taro, Yoko Taro said that being a direct adaptation of the game wouldn't work out, so he wanted to change the anime around a bit at the behest of the Aniplex producers who wanted to stick closer to the story of the game. That's why the version number is different for the anime than the game. Yoko Taro apologized to fans for any discrepancies between the two versions because he is the one that wanted them. <laughs> it kind of gave a sense when we were watching that, that as, as I was watching the live stream, I'm going, they're, they're talking about doing original. <laughs> like, cause the big concern obviously is that Nier Automata is multiple branching stories and you have to get like multiple endings to get the full story. So it's, kind of difficult to adapt into an anime. So it feels like he kind of wants to kind of switch things around and kind of make it his own project. So, and honestly, from a perspective of somebody that has not played the game and understands that that's how it works, I was a little concerned about what they were gonna do. So it does seem like he, he has his plans and it really does feel like he wants to make something for the fans too, not just for newcomers to get the story from the anime. They wanna give something for everybody. So I'm really excited for that. I, probably will end up playing through the games beforehand. I do want to get the full glimpse of the story. A1 Pictures will be working on it. They've also released two trailers, one focusing on 2B and one focusing on 9S. So definitely, if you're excited for it, go check those out. Animation looks fantastic already. I love the visual design. And finally, our last segment is the Aniplex EXE segment. Now, there is some new announcements in here, so don't get me wrong, this is not updates. <laughs> First of all, we have a new visual novel was announced, Hira Hira Hihiru. Now, they don't have really any information for this besides some art, but it is releasing on PC in 2023, so look forward to that. Now, the other thing that they announced during the EXE event is, yes, Atri, my dear moments, visual novel is getting an anime adaptation. This is being done by Troika. Troika is finally leaving <laughs> their cute boys behind and going to do a visual novel, which is fantastic. The other exciting thing for this is that the director and the series composition writer both worked on Bloom Into You, which I thought was absolutely fantastic and I think they're a great choice for this. They also announced that Atari My Dear Moments is getting a manga adaptation, which will release on October 7th. So keep an eye out for that if you're a fan of the series. And that's it. That is all the news of the Aniplex Online Fest 2022. I hope you guys love this rundown. If you did, I would appreciate if you support the channel by going down there and hit that like button. Let me know what's the most exciting thing in this whole news bit that you're most excited about. Additionally, if you're new to this channel and you're just checking this out, I would appreciate it if you consider hitting that subscribe button so you get all my content. I do news reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you missed my live stream where we went through this whole thing and watched the whole thing <laughs> as tired as I was, Make sure to go over to twitch.tv slash otaku spirited. It's ED at the end of it. I'll have links down in the description below. Additionally, if you like my content and you want to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate if you consider supporting us on Patreon, our tips link, or super thanks button down below. I definitely appreciate everybody that supports the channel and for your view, and y'all take care.